Welcome back. All right, so what we want to do is we want to test out our top network so far for our terrains inside of Unity. All right, so what we need to do is we need to move the HDA from our Houdini project into our Unity project. All right, so let's get going. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go up to our HDA for our top network, and I'm going to show the type properties window. Um, because what I want to do is I want to expose a couple of parameters here. So uh, you will start to see how we can really build up kind of this master control panel. Okay, and so I'm going to drag out a folder and I'm going to call this uh, projection. All right, for the label. I'm going to make it, make it collapsible. And I just want to promote all the parameters that I have in my HDA here. So we have our height field size and we also have all of our effects for it as well. Okay, so. Uh, we definitely want the size here okay and this is going to be terrain size and there we go cool and what we can do then is just promote all these guys too because i really want control over all these as well in my system so i'm just going to keep those just like that hit apply you can see that now the hda parameters are being controlled by the hda here inside our top network cool so this is going to be super sweet once we get it into game here pretty soon. So let's do um, erosion for another folder name. All right. And so you can probably tell or probably guess by now that I'm going to basically create these little tasks, these little buckets of functionality. Each HDA is going to be responsible for its own uh, little task. All right. And I try to you know break out my top networks that way. It makes you know your HDAs a lot smaller. Um, a lot faster and really just way more organized. You can really start to build a large procedural system with just these little tiny HDAs that perform their little tasks. Okay, you get really generic with it too. All right, so uh, let's go into the erode terrain HDA processor and get all of these values because we want control over our, our erosion as well inside of Unity. So I'm going to hit apply and accept there and voila, so they're all connected now. So what we can do now is I'm just going to right click on this and say save node type that way we're saving it and I want to go over to unity and we want to take our top network from our Houdini project okay and we don't want that one we want this guy so we want the Houdini project and we want to send this over into our unity project like so. So I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this our uh, top or tops. That way I know this is the top network and not some utility HDA. Okay. So let's go and get our level creation top HDA and copy that over and put it into our Unity project like so. All right. And what I'm going to do is load up that folder and I'm going to drag and drop that into my scene. Okay. Very cool. So right off the bat, you're not going to see anything, right? And that's because we haven't cooked anything. So I'm going to turn off our terrain layout here. All right. And I'm going to select the top network. Okay. And I want to go and get the terrain layout. Remember that is up in our Houdini project geo folder. So I'm going to get our terrain layout that we exported from Unity here. All right. From our HDA, our terrain layout HDA. And now you can see that we have access to all of our properties all in one panel here all right so we're, this is going to become basically our master control center for everything that is our level basically okay cool so what we also need to do if you remember from the last section we need to go up to the houdini engine first have your top network selected we're going to want to go up to the houdini engine menu and select pdg and we're going to create a pdg asset link and with that you'll notice that we have our file pattern our project height field and our erode terrain nodes super cool all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the erode terrain node making sure that i do in fact have that terrain layout in there okay i'm going to leave all my other properties default all right and i'm going to say auto load results all right so what's going to happen is it's going to load in the result after the erode terrain node is done so with that i'm going to go and cook that node and you can see that PDG is now working and we're going to get a terrain back here pretty soon. And you'll notice that we got a failed HDA processor. All right, because we know that the file pattern was working. Uh, this basically 
And we know that because this particular node, the file pattern node, cooked right here. All right, but if we go to the project height field, that one failed. And unfortunately, the road node is sitting there just waiting because nothing's coming in. All right, so why did this fail? Well, the reason that it failed is because we actually, inside of our HDA file, look up here, we're using dollar job. All right, so inside of Unity, dollar job is not known. All right, remember we set our plugin settings to use the hue environment path job. All right, so inside of you or inside of Houdini, what we can do because we've already got that particular environment variable set to the working directory, what we can do is we can actually utilize the dollar pdg dir. All right, that's that working directory. All right, so we need to do that for both our HDAs here. All right, so with that fixed up, let's go and save this out. All right, and I'm going to go back to Unity, and we're going to load up our two folders here, like so. And I'm going to copy the new HDA over. There we go. Then we need to go up to our top network, our HDA, and hit Rebuild. There we go. And we're going to go back to our PDG asset link. I'm going to do a reset, refresh, okay? And then I'm going to do erode terrain, auto load results so that it loads into the scene, and we're gonna hit Cook Node. And you can see, this time, we're projecting now, all right? We have the HDA, or the road node, is waiting, and now we're cooking the erosion, but nothing failed, so our pathing was just off, all right? It's very important to get used to the how pathing works inside of PDG and top networks. But once you get it, like, you get it, right? You just need to make sure that everything's all hooked up appropriately, so, we can find all the files, all the HDAs, stuff like that. So I'm going to let this finish eroding. All right. And remember, we actually can still move around. All right. This is pretty cool. You know, PDG is just working in the background. It's not hosing our complete scene, so I could keep doing stuff. All right. But remember, you can come into the erosion here and you can increase the amount of erosion time. All right now, I just have it at 20. So I'm going to let it load the scene. And there we go. Now we have our terrain. Ta-da. And this is an actual Unity terrain. All right, you can see that it's got the pro progressive meshing going on. And this is going to be really sweet because we're going to cut this into tiles as well. So that way we can take advantage of occlusion calling. And so it'll just make our terrain much faster and you can have larger levels that way. All right. Cool. Now, you might be asking yourself, why does it look so weird? Uh, and those shading is all messed up. Well, that's because we haven't assigned any uh, textures or default materials to this. All right. So it just kind of is using what it, it could find. All right, so um, what we want to do in the next uh, lecture is get our texturing going. Okay, thanks so much.